in today's video of creating checklister we will continue on the user part of the checklist but first let's fix a few bugs and a few cleanup things around assets and generally i will continue doing so in these videos so i will have a main goal or main topic of this video but from time to time i will notice some small details to be fixed so when visiting this url i've noticed that these icons don't load there is an icon for account and why is that if we go to the app blade php the main app blade i remember i have copied that code from the core ui demo from this one from the source and these icons were copied like this without any path to where they lie so if the path of url is a slash something so deeper path it tries to reference vendors from this folder which doesn't actually exist so to avoid that everywhere we load the assets we need to use laravel helper called asset so let's replace those and we will get to that menu button in a minute it doesn't actually work apparently but for now let's fix other icons in the app bar so like this and like this should be okay let's refresh the page and now we have the icons here but we don't have the icon here why is that behind the scenes i was trying to investigate but in the end i've just recopied this item from here so if we go and do inspect it looks a bit different so for some reason i've copied wrong style or something so i'll just recopy that again copy element instead of that button i will use this and then again asset okay and if we refresh now no not that one refresh this one we have the icon and if we click that it hides or shows the sidebar exactly as we want it next i don't really like the height of that sidebar items because there will be 10 or 20 checklists if we open the original document here's how it looks so it's really smaller than original core ui theme so let's make it a bit smaller in height so it would fit like 10 or 20 checklists we open our sidebar blade and find the checklist item and here you have a choice you may have a separate css file and recompile that or have a custom css but if it's the style only for that one place i personally like to use inline styles you may say it's a bad practice but it's for quicker result and i'm a big fan of quick results i don't think it would have any negative impact if we add that here style padding left should be higher than original and what is the original actually i will show you so inspect that link and that link has padding left from one style and then padding 0.84 and 1 rem from another so let's make it 0.5 rem 0.5 rem so smaller also bottom 0.5 rem and left bigger so 96 pixels instead of 56 by default it was 56 and if we refresh the page now oh of course it's not padding left it's padding so general padding okay refresh now it looks a bit better oh 96 is too much 76 let's put it 76 okay looks better now let's add an icon to that so it would be even clearer that it's a checklist and not a checklist group so here we have icon for the parent record so let's put it more visually and let's add the icon here instead of span sidebar nav icon we have svg we don't need group name for now with the same icon let's reload and see how it looks yep we have a separate icon and let's do the same with the new checklist and new checklist group so we add an icon the text of new checklist should be a bit lower so icon here and new checklist group also deserves an icon and we'll choose the actual icons in a minute but for now icons are everywhere great and while browsing the free core ui icons i found the list icon so we can change the list here from cil puzzle to cil list it should work and refresh refresh and this should become a list great and for the new checklist a new checklist group i found two icons note add and library add so library will be for the category for new checklist group so library add i think that's the syntax and here new checklist will be note add note add let's refresh our page and see what happens 
Great, so we have new checklist and we have new checklist group and probably this icon should change as well. And let's try an icon called folder open. Folder open for the group name, folder open, refresh. And now it looks much more user friendly and clear what is what. And now let's build the sidebar for user checklists. So for now, if we register as a simple user, let's do that now. Register, fake filler, register. We don't see anything because only admin has sidebar menu items, right? So let's implement the same menu items as for the admin, but with different routes, different links. It won't be to checklist group edit or checklist edit. Checklist group is not editable by simple user and checklist is just the show of the checklist. So this page from the backend database structure point of view here, we have a crossroad and a question which I will email to the client in a few minutes after shooting this video. So do we store the same checklist groups and checklists? Do we show them from admin from the same database table or we copy all the checklist groups and checklists into the user area? So there would be some kind of database tables of user checklist and user checklist groups. It seems like too much data. So for every user, we would store a lot of checklists and stuff. But if we don't do that, what happens if admin changes some checklists, deletes some items, changes the names, adds new items, then what? Should it reflect on the user items immediately or not? So I will talk to the client about that. And for now, let's build the simple option of just using the same checklist groups and checklists on the sidebar. So we almost copy the same for each from admin to user. So we have is admin and then else. So if it's not admin, we will add for each of the checklist groups and each checklist group actually becomes a title, not editable. So li nav title of group name, then we don't need that parent. We need just sidebar nav items for checklists like this. The route will be different, but we will change that when we create that route. And for now, let's just see what we have. Refresh the page for the registered user, simple user. Great. We have launched new feature and then the checklists. Of course, we did that too much. So we don't actually, we don't even need that styling or do we? Let's remove that and see how it looks. Yeah, it looks a bit better. And for admin, there will be more menu items. So it does need to be smaller, but for user, not necessarily. Let's leave them as default core UI styles. Now, as a final thing in this lesson, let's just create a show page, which will be empty, but we will link to somewhere. So let's create a controller, PHP artisan make controller. Let's create a user namespace. So user checklist controller, and then in that checklist controller, we have two checklist controllers for admin and for user. So let's open the correct one. We have the function show, show checklist, checklist. Again, for now, it's a global checklist available to everyone. Maybe in the future, we will refactor that into have user checklist, return view, user checklists, show compact checklist, something like that. And let's add a view as the result. Okay. And what would be that user checklist show? Let's open any blade file, for example, edit blade. And let's save that as to users checklists folder name and the blade file will be show blade. Okay. We delete everything inside of div card. So like this, and then let's call it checklist name just to make sure that we are loading the correct checklist. And then in the routes web, let's add that route get for now inside of route group of auth, but outside of admin. So get checklists, checklist like this, and then users or user checklist controller to show name users checklists show. We will see in the future how many routes we have for user. Maybe we will create another route group subgroup for the user. 
But for now, let's leave it this way. And in the sidebar, now we can change our link from admin checklist to user checklists show. We don't have a group. We don't need the group checklist. Let's see if it works. I'm not sure about route model binding if I didn't forget anything. User checklist show. What did I miss? Users. Or actually, it should be user, I think. Okay, we have the link checklist to and user checklists show not found. Probably it's users. Let's double check users checklist show. Yeah, it was users. Great. So now we have the page for a specific checklist for a specific user. Let's stop here for now and continue in the next lesson.